Well, next Monday, the Charlotte area will have an 80% partial solar eclipse. But millions of other Americans will see a once in a lifetime show. That's right. Chris Mulcahy helping raise our weather IQ, telling us how the weather and even animal behavior changes during those few minutes during totality. During a total solar eclipse, the sun's rays are blocked for an average of three minutes, but can be as much as over seven minutes long. This period of time can rapidly change the weather and even how animals behave. Let's raise that weather IQ. During the time of totality, in an instant, the afternoon appears as if it switched over to dusk, where some stars can even be visible. <laughs> But the most noticeable change is the temperature. Temperatures on average drop about 10 degrees during a total solar eclipse. As the temperature drops, the winds will also begin to lighten as they typically do during the evening. But they can also change direction as much as 180 degrees. Once the sunlight starts to return though, the winds will return to their original direction and sometimes can even blow stronger than they did before. This is known as an eclipse breeze. During this short period of enhanced darkness, animals tend to react as if it's switching over to night early. Nocturnal animals may become briefly active. Crickets can start chirping, frogs begin croaking. Some bugs like mosquitoes and gnats actively will swarm as they think dinner's coming early. Diurnal animals or animals of the day may also start getting ready for bed. Previous solar eclipses have documented bees returning to hives, chickens beginning to roost, birds returning to nests early, and orb spiders have even been seen breaking down their webs for the night. There is still so much we can learn from these events while our glasses are on looking at the eclipse. So scientists will be ready and lined along the path of totality on April 8th to learn as much as they can in such a short period of time. Where one group, they're even gonna be recording the sounds of the eclipse. For those of you going to see the big show, enjoy it. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. Very interesting. Well, if you want to keep boosting your weather IQ, just take out your phone right now. I'll give you a few seconds. All right, scan the QR code right there on your screen. People It'll take you right to the Weather IQ YouTube channel. This is not 1994, guys. <laughs> Where you can like and subscribe for more insights like this. Yeah, sitting on the couch with your phone right there. I'm right. picturing someone like this. Oh, look at me on my phone. Get me on my cell phone. All right, tune in Monday at 2 for NBC News' special coverage of the solar eclipse right here on WCNC Charlotte. So.